I've got three things you need to do in order to take over an unmanaged tenant. That's coming up. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon, AKA Guy in a Cube. And this week we're gonna take a look at how to actually take over an unmanaged tenant in the Office 365 space, or just from a Power BI perspective, if that's all you're using. I actually covered this video about a year and a half ago, but when I looked at it, it's still using the old preview from the new experience, so it's pretty old. So I wanted to refresh it and make sure it was using the updated interfaces and make sure nothing changed. The environment we're gonna use is for the domain gynacube.ninja, and I went up and signed up for Power BI with asaxton at gynacube.ninja. So I can see the Power BI interface, I can use Power BI as a free user, everything looks great. But I wanna go and take over this tenant and manage it as an admin. Currently, this tenant is an unmanaged tenant. One of the ways I can tell if it is unmanaged is if I go to the Office 365 app picker in the upper left, and I select that, I see admin available to me. I just signed up for Power BI. I'm not an admin that I ever indicated, and yet I can see admin from the app picker list. That's your clue that this is an unmanaged tenant. That means there are no admins for this tenant. No one's managing it. No one can get to the Office 365 admin portal. And so we wanna take this over because as an IT organization, I wanna manage this tenant for my organization. You'll also see the same thing if you go to portal.office.com. You'll just see the Office 365, the regular user settings and interface, and there you will see admin as an option as well. So I use the term manage and unmanaged tenant, and really the difference is, is whether or not there's an actual admin for the tenant itself. Someone that can go in and manage users, manage subscriptions, can get to the Office 365 admin portal. In this case, for an unmanaged tenant, there, there is no admin. We just have a bunch of individual users that have signed up, and no one's actually managing this tenant. Okay, so step number one is we need to select admin from the Office 365 app picker. Remember I said that if you see admin there and you just signed up for Power BI, there is no declared admin and this is an unmanaged tenant. If you don't see admin there, there's an admin already declared and this is a managed tenant. So you'd have to go find out who the admin is in your organization. Someone took it over. So when we select admin, it's gonna take us to the IT admin takeover screen, at which point we can begin the process. Which brings us to step number two, which is that we need to verify the DNS for our organization. So this is how it knows whether or not you're really an admin for your organization. You need to be able to manage the DNS for your domain. You're gonna have to add a TXT record to your DNS settings for that domain in order for it to validate and say, yes, you do own this domain. So you're basically validating domain ownership at this point. I've already added the TXT record to my domain. I'm using GoDaddy for my domain services, so whoever your DNS provider is, you'll have to go and manage your DNS and add that TXT record to it. After you've added that TXT record, that takes us to step number three, which is to actually verify through this IT admin takeover process and to go to the Office 365 admin portal itself. When I did this, it was pretty quick. It didn't take very long for the DNS item to show up and for it to verify and then I was immediately allowed to go into the Office 365 Admin Center. Once you're into the Office 365 Admin Center, you can manage users, you can manage subscriptions, and you can manage licenses and things of that nature. You can also create other admins within your organization. One word of caution is you should be careful about which user you actually use to do the IT admin takeover. Whichever user you use for that process will always be a global admin. You will not be able to change that. So if it's your individual user account, you may not want to do that. You may want to sign up with like an admin account or a generic account like admin at gynacube.ninja and sign up with that. So that way it's a universal account that's not tied to a specific user. The other thing to realize is that you are not paying for anything at this point. This is just a shell. You're just managing your individual login for Power BI at this point. That's the only license block that's here. There is no subscription that you're paying for. And I've got a video that I'll link down below and also you'll see it pop up around here, which talks about the cost of Power BI and what you actually pay for. So be sure to check that out to get a better understanding of what you're actually paying for and cost and whatnot. Okay, my question for today is, have you gone through the IT admin takeover process? Did you encounter any issues with it? And do you understand the difference between managed and unmanaged tenants? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below and let me know. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a like. And if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe for more great content. And as always, thank you so much for watching and keep being awesome.